don't know what we're going to do. So many parts you can't replace on new devices now without Apple software, and even if you can replace something without Apple software, you can't get access to the part anymore. Can't buy a screen. Can't even replace a sleep sensor anymore. We had a good run. It was about 14 years. 14 years of service. I think it's finally time to admit that they've won. Never thought I'd see the day, but... <sighs> Apple's Independent Repair Provider Program. Apple will use the following criteria to determine whether your organization is eligible for the Independent Repair Provider Program. The information will be reviewed and followed up with a request that you sign an NDA before we can provide additional details on the program. Please note the entire process may take between six and eight weeks to complete. Required attachments, photos taken within the last six days of each service location to include the entry front, street frontage, and reception area. All right, so we got the form filled out here with our website, phone number, email, our open hours. Uh, should I be honest here? Nah, let's try to actually get accepted. And our declaration. Okay, so now we got to find some pictures. What would be some good pictures? Hmm. So the reception area. Kurt from the channel Uncivil Law just recently dropped off a bottle of whiskey, so I probably should crop that out of the way since I forgot that there. This is pretty good. You got the picture of all the reception area, our power supply that we use for testing stuff up there, test drive for booting things, and, uh, you know, people working in the background. You have Chris over here giving me the... Look at Chris giving me the Dwayne Johnson from the late 90s look as he's playing the rock. Okay. Customer area? Yeah, this is a good picture of a customer seating area over here. Uh, you got a chair for a customer. You have a lot of space. You got a nice little fire extinguisher there. Uh, this is the outside. So you got the outside. You have our sign. You have where people can lock up their bikes right over there. You have the sidewalk. Uh, you have a little place for parking over here. It's our building. And how'd that make it? in there. What the... That wasn't supposed to be there. Okay, you have a little bit more, maybe a smiling picture of the front. You have the signage in the front. You have the crocheted Rossman Repair Group thing with featuring the two cats on the table that my stepmom made for me about 12 or 13 years ago. You have the Texas Workforce Commission poster that I need up there about employees. And you have proof that I do not have a lien on me from New York State. And that should be that. What? Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe that'll give them some sympathy for me. I don't know. You know what? I don't think I'm going to use these two. We're going to stick with this. Actually, we're going to have this picture. This picture over here. I'll use that one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Seems good. All right, so we got to write up an email. We have to write up an email, an email, an email. Uh, how do we start this? To whom the bell told, no. To whom it may concern. Find attached our application for the Apple IRP program, along with images of our storefront, customer service area, street frontage, and tech workstation. We are the sole... I don't have a backspace key because of how many times I threw my keyboard, so... Occupants of this workspace. We have been repairing MacBooks for almost 15 years. Have the highest rated business in the country on Google Maps. Over 600 how to guides on how to repair MacBooks at component level to a high standard of quality. Have a nonprofit that creates 
educational materials for people looking to perform high quality repairs just like ours. We have a track record of success dating back over 14 years, as can be seen from the reviews. We take customer satisfaction very I really need to get my damn keyboard fixed very seriously. Do let us know if anything else is necessary to complete the application. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. What's the email address I have to send this to? Submit this form with the required pick. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I need to send this here. Submit this form with the quote. Submit this piece of shit. Submit this form with the required pictures to IRP applicant USCA Apple. Oh my god, Bra browser PDF readers are so annoying. You see how the selecting text is quite painful? Okay. Alright, so we put that email in here. Apple IRP program application. And I just gotta submit my photos. And I think we could use a uh, yeah technician workbench photo. Chris looks happy. That's a good picture. Technician workbench. And I have a link here to the reviews. I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. You know, a lot of work was done to, by all involved at this company to get us the reputation we have. So do not feel bad linking to it at all. Let's get some links to that stuff. Put some URL snaz on my over 600 how-to guides. That'll be this over here. All right. And maybe one of the non-profit. Yeah, it's a little on the lights. Oh, yeah, this is nice. That's a nice guide right here. Okay. We'll keep, we'll put that in there. Add attachment. Okay. Got everything attached here. To it may concern, find attached our application for the Apple IRP program along with images of our storefront, customer service area, street frontage, and tech workstation. We are the sole occupant of the workspace. We have been repairing MacBooks for almost 15 years, have the highest rated business in the country on Google Maps, 600 how-to guides on how to repair MacBooks at component level to a high standard of quality, and have a nonprofit that creates educational materials for people looking to perform high quality repairs just like ours. We have a track record of success dating back over 14 years, as can be seen from the reviews. We take customer satisfaction very seriously. Do let us know if the, anything else is necessary to complete the application. Thank you very much, and have a lovely day. Now, Apple has been saying to legislators across the country that the right to repair legislation is unneeded. It's a what is it that the lobbyist that rewrote the bill in New York State said? Hmm. Ah, yes, it was. Hi, my name is Samantha Kershaw, and I'm the executive director for TechNet here in Washington in the Northwest. Uh, respectfully, we are testifying in opposition to Senate Bill 5799 today. Uh, we believe this legislation is in search of a problem that does not exist. Something that's resonated with me is something that you heard early on here is this is legislation in search of a problem. Can you guys at least pretend that you're not reading off of the same piece of paper? It's a solution in search of a problem that does not exist, said with a smile and a smirk. Since it's a solution in such a problem that doesn't exist, then surely the highest rated board repair business in the entire country should have absolutely no problem being able to get into that program, because that program is not a PR stunt, right? It's supposed to be there to help independent repair centers be able to repair products for their customers, right? So a licensed business with the best reviews in the nation should be able to get a response back. Unless the lobbyist was lying, but the lobbyist wouldn't be lying, right? I mean, you know, they got Governor Kathy Hochul to rewrite the entire bill and destroy it based on the foundation that this was a solution in search of a problem that does not exist. They, would, they wouldn't lie, right? I'm confident I'll hear back within six to eight weeks. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video.